Oh, look, an archer. Oh, look, a dead archer. Oh, God. He's already dead, psycho. <laughs> What's up, barbarians? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Conan Exiles. All right, first of all, um, we are going to go over the... We're going to go over some of the major tips you guys gave me. You guys gave me so many awesome tips. I, I, I lost track. I couldn't even I couldn't even write them all down. So keep the tips coming. If you don't hear if you don't hear your tip mentioned and you think it's a good tip, uh, you know, go ahead and mention it in this video too. And um I'm gonna eventually get through all the tips, but oh my god, you guys are freaking awesome. You know so much about this game and you're helping me out in so many ways. So we're gonna go over the tips today that um I got and we're also going to do some base building. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So tip number one, you can get dry wood, all right? If you put in the drying station, put some wood in the drying station, and you can get dry wood and resin. Now, I don't know what this stuff is good for, uh, but I, I, I think I was told, I think the person told me that the dry wood would burn um, longer, and we're also getting resin from it, which is cool. I guess you just can't craft with it. That's the, um, that's the difference, okay? All right, so um, there's also bearer thralls. You guys told me about this. I figured there might be something like, like this in the game. There's basically bearer thralls, and if I collect them, they can help me carry stuff, okay? Which is awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Like, 50 people told me that. It was freaking awesome. Okay, what else? Um, it, something about yellow flowers in the cauldron. Um, if you use yellow flowers in here, you can make this potion. Um, it'll reset your... Uh, uh, it'll make a skill reset potion, so you can uh, use it use the strat uh, for different builds. You can go fighting, smithing, decorating, whatever. You can kind of go back and forth. And it sounds like it's a pretty easy potion to make. Um, the only thing is, um, I think this person said something about it resetting your religion. So you got to know where to get the religions. Basically, there's all kinds of religions in the game, and you pick a starting religion, and you can also find people out in the world who would who will like you could like learn their religion as well. Um, and I think this thing does reset religions, or so I've been told. Also, um, the last tip we're going to go over today, Animal Hide. All right, so the way the Animal Hide works is we come in the Armor's Bench and we type in Hide. Now, basically, I can, I can convert the Reptile Hide and the Hyena Hide into regular Hide, okay? Or you can actually put these right in the... Uh, actually, you can put these right in the drying thing and... Um, and just turn them directly into leather. So you don't even have to do this step. But what I'm wondering is, can you guys tell me, is there any reason to keep animal uh, reptile hide? Should I just convert it all? Or should I save some for some possible builds? The same thing with hyena hide. Just let me know in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, also, uh, if you get something like um, elephant hide, that makes the thicker the thicker hide so you can make uh, thicker leather. I'm, I'm assuming that's what that's for. So we're going to have to go hunt some uh, some elephants at some point. Also, one other thing. I'm having a... Now, this is... Uh, I need some help here, guys. You guys need to help me. I'm desperately needing some help here. How the hell does the day-night cycle thing work? All right, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to server settings. Make myself an admin. Day-night cycle, okay? Now, this thing says daytime hours in Conan Exiles are between this, this time and this time. Changing this multiplier will multiply the time spent between these hours. So it says changing the multiplier. It doesn't say which way. All right. So I assume, and you guys, let me, guys, please let me know. This is very important. Um, I changed the daytime speed to five, which means and now if, if I didn't read this, I would think that that would mean daytime is going faster. But this said um, changing this multiplier will multiply the time spent in these. I think I need to turn this down. Actually, you guys let me know in the comments. How does this freaking thing work? I'm going to turn this down. I'm assuming that the, the, the lower this number is the slower uh, the days will go by, right? That's what I'm thinking. So, and I'm going to turn night up and we'll, I don't know. We'll see how that works. I want, I don't want to totally get rid of night. There is a way to get rid of night. I'll show you right now how to get rid of night. If you want to get rid of night, you wait till daytime. You press escape. You go to admin panel and freeze time right there or freeze the sky. Maybe you could freeze the sky so you could freeze it in day and still have time going by. Now, I don't want to totally get rid of night. I like night. I think it's cool. I want it to be more like seven days to die, though, where nights... You know, I want to be able to get in a full video during the day, basically. Um, so that's the other thing. Let me know in the comments, because that thing completely confused me. Just let me know. Do I turn that thing up to make the days longer or down to make the days longer? Because it's just... I don't know. It seems to be pretty weird. Anyway, uh, let's get this in building. How about that? Uh, let me grab my torch. What do I do with my torch? I can't believe I don't have it on me. 
Um, but you know, you don't have to open that up. You could, well, yeah, there it is. Is that a regular torch? No, that's an uh, improvised torch. I want me a regular torch. I don't like climbing up these walls, by the way, in my own base. I want to, like, need ladders. I don't know why. It's just, just the way I like to play. All right, so we're going to put that right there. There we go, number six. Because with these torches, you can actually play during the night. And it's, it's quite atmospheric. I do like it. I don't want it to just be a permanent day all the time. All right, so I think you turn it down for longer longer days. Because I just turned the nighttime up, and that nighttime went by in, like, a freaking minute. So that's, the, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, let's start building the base. All right, so I've got 10 uh, wedge thingamabobs, and I've got 20 foundations. Um, we are going to be, be restarting this world. Oh, that's right. You can't do wedges like this. I forgot. Oh, I hate that. I want, like, I want, like, a wedge that you could put in this kind of corner. If there is one in the game, please let me know, but I don't know about it if there is. Anyway, um, all right, uh, so I can't build this the way I thought I wanted to. So give me a second. Let me figure out how I want to build this. Well, guys, it took a while, but now I have an idea about what I want to do. So let's just, uh, I, I had to, like, make and break down a bunch of stuff, but I think we got, uh, I think I have a better clue now. So let's just kill these guys so they don't start any crap. Because we don't need any of their freaking BS, right? I'm not even going to take them apart because who cares, you know? All right, so uh, right here, what we want to do is we want the main the main area of the build right, right about here. And I don't really know where the entrance is going to be. We could probably do the entrance right about here. I think I'm going to make a... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, maybe a four by five. I mean, I want to keep it, I want to keep it, uh, you know, somewhat reasonable. Um, oh, why won't that connect there? Can I place while overlapping another object? That's interesting. I don't know what it could be overlapping. I wonder if that, hmm, I can't connect anything to these. Uh, oh, there we go. Now, can I connect these? Huh, what? Uh, not allowed here. Cannot place overlapping is not allowed here. Um, wait, what the hell's going on here? All right, so let's, um, let's do left alt, and, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, adjust height, that's left shift, there we go. Um, it, it, can I not build close to, oh, I might not be able to build close to these guys. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's going to make everything different. That means, um, oh, that's a, that's a real problem that actually throws everything into disarray. Okay, I'm going to have to ask you guys another favor, Okay. Um, in the comments, can you please let me know if there's a way to do any kind of angled angled thing on a wall? All right, And what I mean by an angled thing on a wall, I know that seems pretty vague. Don't worry, I'll explain it to you. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here. Maybe we shouldn't build this wall this big. Probably just do it like a single thing wall. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're going to bring this out. What we want to do right now is we want to build the wall first. First and foremost, we want to build the wall. Okay. Now what I'm looking at here, can I not place it here? Why can't I? It doesn't say I can't place it here. Why can't I place it against this? Can't place while overlapping. I'm confused. Why can't I? Why can't I place it right here? It says I can place it right here, but it won't let me place it over. Can I place it right here? Yes, I can. So why can't I stick it to the wall? What am I missing here? I'm a little bit confused. Oh, there we go. Now we can. Yeah, it's a. It's getting a little confusing. Anyway, um, yeah. So now, how are we supposed to build it against this wall? Maybe it has something to do with the pitch or the tilt or the rotation. I honestly don't know. I don't think it does. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what I want to know is, okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build something here that I don't really need. Just be, Okay, now it won't build it there. It was just on there. What? This is weird. What, what am I doing wrong here? Now, oh, it's not showing anywhere because when you climb, it comes off. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to build it right here. Okay, now, check this out. Is there any way I could build... They're called ramp blocks in EverQuest... Uh, not in EverQuest, God. I got EverQuest 2 on the brain. They're called ramp blocks in uh, Seven Days to Die. And basically, they're just a half block, right? Um, cut on an angle. It would basically go from here to there. And it would make this look like a really nice... Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Is there any kind of blocks like that? Because these wedge foundations are absolutely not going to work there. See? The wedge foundations don't work. I need something that can go in there that can go all the way across and make it look like a cool angle. Because what I want to do is, what I would like to do, is when I have an angle like that, like let's say right here. Let's say this is my building, right? And this is the wall. Instead of having just a, a 90 degree angle on the wall, which is a little boring, I want to have like a little wedge here to make it, give it a little bit of a... Um, 
I don't know, a little bit of pizzazz, make it look a little bit better. Um, you know, so not so rigid. So if there's if there's any kind of like you know block, any kind of ramp or slope block that can connect these like like that, just let me know in the comments. Okay, and with this wall, I'm gonna make this wall single wide because making it three wide is gonna be a lot of materials. So I don't want to really do that. Um, maybe we'll go back and do it at some point, but not right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the wall going this way. And again, it's not letting me place it there. Why? What? I don't get that. All right, guys, I'm starting to figure this out. This is this is cool. This is cool. I I like the building mechanics. Like they're just a little bit. There's one little bug with the building mechanics, but this is not one of them. Basically, in case you didn't get what I was talking about earlier, because I was kind of just uh, you know, going through it pretty quickly. Um, you can't build really closely. There's like a, there's like an area around the campfires with the NPC spawns that you can't build within that area. Okay. So that kind of hurts me with this build, but it's okay. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. I'm going to build here anyway. Um, I'm just gonna have to make the wall a lot, uh, smaller than I thought the wall was going to be three wide. I'm going to make it one wide and, um, you know, we'll just go from there. So, but I am getting used to the build mechanics and I'm going to go ahead and make some more foundations. And we're going to have to go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Now, I think if I build close to the trees and the rocks, they'll stop spawning. Which I kind of want them to stop spawning if I build close to them. Because I don't want things spawning inside my base or in my walls or anything. Um, but the, th the fact of the matter is it means I'm going to have to go farther for materials. Which kind of, you know, kind of blows. But, I, you know, I kind of knew that was going to be the case anyway. Um, you know what? Let's use the pickaxe on the uh, trees so we can get some more bark. Because bark is what we need, people. There we go. All right, so let's continue building out. Uh, the one problem with the with the uh, building mechanics that I think is a legit bug is sometimes, uh, first of all, this is how I've been doing it. I've been just building as close to the camp as I can without actually, you know, well, as close to the camp as I can. Um, apparently, I could build here. Let me see if I could put one here. Um, so we'll go with six. Yeah, I can. Okay. Number five. Nope. Six. So it's let me do that one, but it won't let me do the foundation. All right, that's a little bit too close. So we're going to just do this and this and this. And, okay, so we can't build there. Is that because we're too close? Uh, currently occupied. Too close. Yeah, it's probably too close. All right. So here's the bug I was talking about. Sometimes, now this is important if you guys are going to be building in this game for you to understand this because it was a pain in the butt for me, but I figured it out. Sometimes you can't connect stuff. Uh, oh, you know what? I should probably build underneath, right? Yeah, there we go. Sometimes you can't connect stuff. Right there. That should be able to connect to that foundation. This is, a, I think, a bug, okay? What you do is you switch to another building material and then switch back. It's that simple. Oh, these guys are going to be a problem now. I'm going to build underneath. There we go. Yeah, let's take these punks out. What are you looking at, chump? Oh, archer. I love I love archers. They're so slow. It takes or, No, what was the, what was the, uh, what did the guy say in Game of Thrones? Oh, I, I, I hate crossbows. They take too long to reload, and then he killed the guy who shot him in the shoulder or something. Anyway, <laughs> let me continue building, guys. You know, I said no big builds. I said to myself, I said, Cage, no crazy builds. All right? For those of you who don't know, this game is coming out on the 8th, and I'm going to be forced to restart. I'm actually going to be playing on a multiplayer server with uh, Games for Kicks and a couple other people. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I told myself, Cage don't make anything big, man. You're just going to have to restart anyway. What the hell are you doing? I'm actually glad I'm making this thing so big because it actually taught me a lot about the building that is going to make the Let's Play go a lot smoother when I do have to restart. But at the same time, I'm making really, really big freaking thing here. Um, also, you see this little uh, wall right here that I've been making? This right here is exactly why I want those slope blocks to make this wall, um, you know, a little bit more smooth. Uh, so, man, I really hope there's something like that in the game, but I, I don't think there is. Hoping you guys can be my, uh, savior. We'll see. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, continue building this. Alright, so, man, having to switch back and forth to get this thing is really slowing me down. Like, it's almost like every block I have to switch and switch. Uh, sometimes I can put down two blocks. Switch and switch. Okay, we're almost there, people. Now this is this is going to be the outer wall. Once I built the outer wall, I'm going to uh, kind of build like an inner building, and um, I need to leave some room on the outside for things that I don't know. Some things I want to be on the outside, like um, maybe where I keep my thralls and everything. There we go. It's all done. It's all done, people. So that's the wall, and this is going to be the inside. Let's go ahead and get rid of these trees. And uh, I did get attacked in here. I made short work of the uh, of the perpetrator. So, you know, what are you going to do? All right, so we want to make something very small here. Um, very small, okay? 
I guess um, I'm thinking like maybe maybe I should make a really small building and just make it tall. You know, uh, where do I want to put the building? I could put it over here. Um, it's a pretty good spot for it. It have a good view of everything. I think this would probably be the best place to put the um, to put the building I want to make. Yeah. All right. Let me go make some more foundations. That we'll start on on the main building. The building I'm actually gonna live in. All right, guys. This is gonna be the base. Let me walk you through it. Um, oh my god, I need way more foundations. <laughs> Alright, well, I do want the base connected to the wall. So right here, it's going to be where it's connected to the wall. And the base is going to be a 4x6. And, yeah. And then I'm just going to build it up from there. Uh, and then it gives me some areas on the outside for some thralls or for some little stuff. I'm a little bit cramped in here. A little bit cramped that I want it to be. But, um, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm going to have enough room. I don't, I don't, you know, I'll get, I'll get creative if, I. Uh, if I don't have enough room or if I want to put something somewhere. But I don't know what you would put outside um, of the base. I have to decide... I have to decide where I'm going to put... Um, where I'm going to put my uh, uh, religious thingy-mabobs. The, uh, the shrines. So... Oh, boy. I don't know. I really, man, it's going to be tough. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them on my roof. Put them on the roof. The thing is, I, want the, I don't want the roof to be flat. I want the roof to be like a, a regular, like, cool-looking you know, sloped roof, you know? So I, I can't put them on the roof if I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going to put the shrines. I think you also want to keep the uh, the thralls probably outside as well. Um, I don't know. It's going to be a tough call. It's going to be a tough call. This area right here is going to get torn down because I don't really need all, any of this stuff over here, um, you know, moved over eventually. Uh, so all right, let's go ahead and put down the foundations. One more. There we go. Alright, so that's going to be the base. Alright, so why don't you stop making foundations and why don't you start making walls? Um, uh, but are they not called walls? or <laughs> What are the walls called in this game? If they're not called walls, I don't know what the heck they're called. Um, let's take a look. Uh, that's a sandstone frame. No, they're called walls. I don't know why that didn't... I don't know. Maybe I put a... Maybe I putting three L's or something didn't notice uh, 18 walls uh, yeah I think that's the way to go let's go ahead and make 18 walls and then what I'm gonna do on the corners here to make it look pretty cool is I'm going to do this this and this and then this this and this and that's gonna be the corners um, why can't I put that there um, let's see uh, six I don't know why I can't put that there. Maybe because that's got to be down there. Not really sure. Um, can we put that there now? No, we'd have to put that down there. And then on top. Okay, that's why. It need more support, basically. That is fine by me. Alrighty. Okay, now we're out of those. Yeah. That, that's, this is the kind of stuff I like. To make, like, a, a 90 degree boring wall gives us some pizzazz. Some, some... I don't know. Just some coolness to it. Try and do that whenever I can. Oh, look. An archer. Oh, look. A dead archer. Yeah! Oh, God. He's already dead, psycho. <laughs> My guy's like... Bruh! And I'm like, oh, he's already dead. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, why don't we go ahead... Okay, so is that sandstone stuff I'm building with? Yes, it is. All right. So let's go ahead and make a couple doorways... Um, what else? What else? We're out of stone now. A couple doorways. Uh, probably should make some doors along the way. We will. Uh, but it's mostly going to be walls. I will make some windowed walls. I don't like the, uh, the window frame walls in this game. I think they're way, way too small. I know that's not going to change. But, you know, it's just, just the way I feel about them. Alright. Sand, stone. Alright, so what do we need here? Um... I probably want to do that. Yeah, we're going to need to make a deck of some kind. On our base as well. I didn't think about that. Alright, that's okay. Let's make a... Uh... Let's make five of those. Alright, that should be good for now. We gotta think about how we're gonna make this deck. Let's let's figure out the deck now, then we'll call it a video. Oh, god, never mind. We still got a, we still got a good, good chunk of time. Alright, let me figure out the deck here. Uh, you know what? Let's make some of these as well. Oh, we can't. What are we missing? We're probably missing stone. Right now, we, we've queued up a bunch of... Oh, I already did... I did make them. Never mind. They're in the queue. Cool. All right. So, 
While that stuff's being made, let's go ahead and put down some walls. Again, this is going to be a defensive wall type thing, so, you know, no fancy things here, just solid walls. Why can't I put that on the outside? Seriously? No, don't tell me that. Don't tell me I can't put a wall there. If you can put the foundation, you can put a wall. Are you serious? Hey guys, I got another question for you. <laughs> uh, can I like get more than one hot bar on the bottom? Like maybe hot bars that I can switch between? Because I'd like a hot bar with just my crafting recipes on it. Like you know, like I could put the walls, the foundations, all the all the little crafting things I want to do a lot of, and just put them on the wall. To, uh, put them on the another crafting um, thing. What am I out of wood? Yeah, I'm out of wood. Um, if there, is there any way to do that? I don't. Again, I don't think there is. But if there is, let me know, please. And apparently, I couldn't put walls on these foundations because they're too close to the campfires. It's weird that I could put down the foundations themselves, but not the walls. That is very odd to me. Um, that's why I was like, why? You know, like, I could put down the foundation, but I can't put the wall on it. So, I figured out where I could put the walls. Okay. Um, some of them are backwards. Don't worry about it. I'll, eh, maybe, I'll, maybe I should fix that now. Maybe there's some kind of weird building thing where you, can't, you, can, only put, you can only put them on backwards for some strange reason. Uh, let's test that. Nope, we're good. Okay, so some of them are backwards. I'll, I'll turn those around later. It's not really a big deal. All right, so I got all these set up. Uh, number six. Yeah, I can't put that right there. I can't put it on the outside. It's so weird. Um, I mean, I know why I can't put it on the outside. It's too close to the fire. But if I can't put the if I can put the foundation down, it's really strange that I can't put down the... Yeah, I can't put this one down either. It's really strange that I can't put down the, um, the wall. Very odd. All right, outer face. Um, good. Uh, nope, can't do this one. Of course. Uh, so we could put it down like this, outer face. Uh, I'm just kind of showing you how I'm getting around the problem. Okay, so that's good. So what I'll do, and I'm going to do this off camera, is I just go pick up all these foundations that are extras. You know, now. So, I just have to basically move everything in a little bit. Honestly, it's not really that big of a deal. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and put down these. Number six. Uh, there we go. And we'll put down some walls, because why not? Uh, wait, actually, do I have another one of these I want to put down? Why did I make two? I don't really know. Uh, well, I could put one down here. Yeah, because if they get if they break in and get it with get in the walls, it might be good to have a uh, another foundation there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, um, let's go ahead and make some more walls. Okay, we've got these now. The places I do want to put the uh, windowed things are these areas. Um, outer face, uh, outer face, outer face. Right, right. Okay. All right, my guy's dying of thirst. I should probably, you know, I'm no expert at this game, obviously, but I should probably do something about him dying of thirst. There we go. Okay, all right, so that's looking good. All right, so we got all that going up. Let's, uh, we'll make the doors last. That's not really a, um, a priority. Do I need, I don't really need foundations. Oh, yeah, I could do more with this. So let's go over here. Let's finish this one. Uh, number six. Yeah, I gotta put them on the ground. There we go. And it's not letting me... Is it going on the ground? Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, beautiful. Now we've got two more of these. So this one can go right here, number six. There we go. All right, so we're going to need six more of those. Can I make six more of the wedges? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, nope, just four. All right, that's, that's fine. Let's put down the walls now. Uh, so let's go right there, number six. Um, actually, let's put some down here. Outer face. I can read it. Yeah, that's what I want. Outer face. I can read it. If I can read it, I know it's it's facing my way. If I can't read it, I know it's facing the other way. <laughs> outer face. So you get the idea of how that's going to work. Okay, so outer face. Outer space. Outer face. Space. Mace. Okay, we're good there. And we'll go outer and outer. Outer. Oh, yeah, this is gonna... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The only thing I want to know about the admin menu now is if there's a way it can allow me to fly uh, for screenshot purposes. Because I'd, really be, I'd really like to be able to get off the ground um, to make some good screenshots. I'm gonna turn off my timer because that's about to go off. Uh, six. Uh, oh, this one's a little close to this one. They'll be actually, like, right on top of each other. Does that matter? I don't know. It might. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna look really that good. Mm. 
Eh, tough call. Tough call. Well, I know I want one over here, so let's just do that. And maybe I'll break this one down, and we'll only have two on the sides. Yeah, because they're going to be right next to each other. That's not going to... I don't know, maybe it will look cool. You know what, I'll build it, and if it doesn't look cool, I'll just tear it down. Yeah, I, otherwise I could just put one here, one there, one there, and just call it a day. Um, again, if I put one right here, it's going to be right next to the other one. That might It might look good, though. You don't know until you've built it. All right. Do I want to make a short video, or do I want to take you guys on a little bit more grinding? What do you guys like? Do you, do you want me to explore the island? Because usually when I explore stuff, those videos don't do very well, which leads me to believe that people aren't really into it. So, what, what do you think? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely going to be, I'm definitely going to explore, you know, the game. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it's just, do I wait for the full release and do it, you know, with Games for Kicks and everyone? Um, now, that's going to, we're not going to be able to play together that much because Games for Kicks and I are in different schedules. But, um, we're going to try, I'm going to try and get together with people on that server. Because there's a lot of stuff in this game you want to do, uh, with friends. You know what, let's just go ahead and make... Let's go ahead and make... How many more of these? Seven? That sounds pretty good. And then... Are we out of wood? What are we out of? Yeah, we're out of wood. And then we'll just put the walls back down here. Why am I getting this if I know I'm out of wood? Wood is what I need. You don't need a lot of wood to craft these things, but you do need some. Come on. Come on. Are they, are they going into the queue? Yes, they are. 18. Beautiful. All right, let's get back and do a little bit of building. We'll call the end of the video. I think this is going to be an awesome base. Um, like I said, I really wish I had some kind of ramp slope blocks to make this look a little smoother. Uh, but who knows? Maybe there is. Maybe you guys can come to my rescue. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm thinking they're, it's not in the game. All right, guys. I just broke my picks for my picks. What the hell's a picks? I just broke my pick for the second time today. So that tells me that I need to call this video pretty soon. All right, so let's come on over here. Um, we're still building walls. Now we're building the um, the wedges. So let's go ahead and put these in. I'm thinking... Come on. Like that. Two more, guys. All right. So that's what it would look like if I left it just like it is. Um, let's build up some walls while we're waiting. No reason not to. I know these are going to stay, so I can put the walls in here. All right. Outer, outer... Out. Oh, you son of a bis biscuits. I almost said it. I'm trying really hard not to curse. I, I, you know, I, I'm usually good with the cursing. The, I don't know, the past few couple of weeks, man, I've been having problems with it. So, need to get a hold of that. Um, there we go. Number seven. There we go. That looks good. Okay. So, let's come over here. So, we can leave it like that or we can finish it. I think we're going to finish it. I don't know why we wouldn't. And this is a way to make... A curved area so but it's got it's expensive how much are the wedges how much are the wedges compared to the compared to the regular foundations 32 and 5 and 35 and 5 yeah they're really expensive but what I could do is I could put wedges along this maybe and now that's not gonna work it's not gonna work on this kind of on this kind of setup yeah okay well that's okay you know, what are you going to do? Just let me know if there's some kind of slope block I can put in there that I'm not aware of. But that is going to help me make this area look better. You need a, you would need a straight wall in order to make it work. Because of, because of the way I did it here. But this looks pretty cool though. I like this. I like this a lot. Number seven. Alright, I think I'm going to have to call this, man. I'm just... I just keep building. I'm not stopping. That's the way it works with these games, man. You get into them and you're just like, I don't want to stop. There we go. Alright guys, I am going to call this one here though. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next. I'm getting all distracted here. Yeah, okay. I'll see you next time. And until then, <laughs> take it easy.